What's going on, MSFers? Doolum here, back here with another video, and today we're going to be talking about Arena. And I've noticed a lot of people are unlocking Mephisto, and a lot of people don't understand how Mephisto works in Arena and how the matchup works, and they can't understand turn meter and all that stuff. So I figured I'd do a video showing you guys how to use Mephisto in Arena and show you guys how uh, the turn meter works and why you're losing sometimes or why you're winning other times. So we're going to get into number four here. Uh, we're going to go in with this team. I do have uh, Gladiator, Thanos, uh, Apoc, Ultimus, and Mephisto. Um, I do not use Gore at all. He is completely useless in Arena. We have Mephisto Striker. Ultimus is a Raider is essential. Um, Apoc is a Striker. Thanos is a Raider. And then Gladiator is a Fortifier to survive as much as he can. Um, so there's a lot of things that happen right off a rip here. So... There's uh, four coin flips that happen, or two coin flips that happen right away. So it's going to depend if your Mephisto or their Mephisto goes first to use their empowered packs. And it's also going to depend on if your Mephisto or their Mephisto goes first uh, to use the special. So you see their Mephisto always uses the ult on defense. So what you're going to want to do on offense is always use the basic because this, this takes off 50% of the target's max health. And you see here, he did go below 50% max health. So, when Mephisto uses his special, he puts Taunt on two allies. But the fact that Gladiator was below 50% health means Ultimus got turn meter from them gaining Taunt because of Ultimus' passive. So now, the coin flip is going to work in our favor. If you, and then here, we're going to use the special from Gladiator to do, or from Mephisto to do some damage on Gladiator. And then Ultimus now can use the ultimate on Gladiator and it punches through all of those death proofs and... Gladiator's now dead, so you don't have to worry about that. So now, when Apocalypse ults, Apocalypse will get the turn meter right away because Gladiator's below 50% health. He's dead. And then when you punch Thanos here, because Apoc does a drain on... Uh, it's like a, a hell steal drain mechanic on his uh, Falcon Punch, Thanos' passive does not proc. That, it works in our favor, so you would never have to worry about the Thanos passive. So now we're going to do the special here, so Thanos gets stunned and we get that exposed out there. Also, we can only hit Thanos anyway. Uh, we'll do the special here to clear some negative effects on our allies and keep hitting that ex that uh, exposed to get energy to our allies. And you see their Apocalypse did not get turn meter because my Gladiator was still above 50% health. That does not matter if he does go below 50% health and Apocalypse punches somebody. It literally does not matter at all. Um, it doesn't change anything. My Gladiator's just big because I just put Purple Iso on him. So then we're going to hit the special with Apocalypse, and we're actually going to kill Thanos there. But remember, we're getting a bunch of energy because of hitting into that expose. So now we're going to ult to get all that safeguard off, the death proofs, defense up, offense up, all that stuff. Some of it did get resisted, but that's okay. And then you're just going to all in Mephisto from here. Um, and then you see the Falcon Punch ends up killing Gladiator because he still had that Falcon Punch sitting. He just couldn't do it immediately. Um, and then here we're going to have... Another turn, just keep on going on Mephisto, and uh, that striker attack should probably kill him. It does, and now you can see the match goes really easy from here. Uh, Mephisto does have his ultimate turn too, because um, because we are getting that energy from the exposed mechanic from Thanos, and it's a super, super easy win. So no gore needed whatsoever. I think gore is absolutely useless on offense. Um, I think he is essential on defense though, because if not, then somebody can use um, Old Man Logan on your um, on your composition and beat it. Um, so that was number four. So let's go to number two here because we got diamonds aplenty here. We got purple ISO, two diamonds on Gladiator, one on Gore and Thanos. So we'll go here on this fight. Same team. I always use the exact same team. Um, also positioning. I always have um, Thanos next to Gladiator because I want Thanos taking a bunch of damage because when he does take a bunch of damage, he gets that passive proc below 50% health and then clears all those positive effects. So that's always really nice to have. So there Mephisto goes first again. The Pact really doesn't matter who goes first. Um, so let's see. I did not get... So you'll see how this doesn't work now. So I did not get Gladiator below 50% life with the basic. And then their Mephisto went first. So when he put the taunts out there, Ultimus did not get speed bar because Gladiator still had taunt. So this this makes it a little bit harder um, to be able to beat it, but you can still definitely beat it. So we're going to ult here. 
and then we're still gonna punch Thanos. So then this relies on a coin flip here, depending if your um, Ultimus goes first or if uh, their Gladiator goes first, because they are the same speed. So this is gonna kinda depend on another coin flip here to be able to determine if you're gonna win or not. You'll see here, Thanos got pushed really, really quickly, which is great. I'm going to stun their Thanos, because if not, he's going to uh, stun me. So I'm gonna stun him, get that exposed mechanic out there. And now you see my uh, my Ultimus did go before their Gladiator, but their speed is tied. So you might not have that happen. I am going to ult, and that's almost going to kill him. It did not, though, but it put that heal block and stuff on him, so he didn't heal from that. Um, so you see, this matchup goes a little bit worse. <clears throat> but it's still doable. It's just not, it's not easy, that's for sure. I'm going to special on Gladiator here to make sure he doesn't do anything stupid um, because I don't like his turn meter rewind because remember, they can turn meter rewind you because they don't have uh, the Marco Mephisto up because they have gore to ult. So we're going to keep working on Gladiator here and then we're going to hit the ult. Remember, Mephisto has ability block, so he's not going to do anything for quite a while. Um, so he's pretty useless, which is great. And then we're going to keep on punching through here. We're going to kill the Gladiator. So now we don't have to worry about Gladiator at all. Um, you see Gore passive doing pretty good things. And then we're going to start working on Mephisto. And Mephisto from that striker attack should be dead. Yep, he is. So you can see this does go a little bit worse, but it still does work all the same. It, it really doesn't matter at all. Um, it's, it's pretty simple. You just have to win that coin, that third coin flip between Ultimus and Gladiator to be able to win. Because if you don't win that coin flip, then you've probably lost. Um, because then Gladiator's going to do the special, get a, a bunch of heals, all that stuff. Um, but Ultimus did put that heal block before he was able to do it. And then that one's super straightforward and super easy. And then we're getting into the last fight. This is the last defense I've seen. I have seen some people using Silver Surfer on defense because it does change how the mechanic works a little bit, especially if Silver Surfer is this big. So you'll see this defense here. You see Silver Surfer's three diamond. Uh, he also has Ultimus on here, so no APOC at all. Um, and Thanos is 6'6", six, six, so you'll see here when Mephisto uses his special, uh, he will not put the taunt on Thanos. He's going to put the taunt on Silver Surfer because Silver Surfer has more health because that's the way the uh, Mephisto special works. He puts taunt on the two highest health allies, um, which is obviously Gladiator, and then it's going to be Silver Surfer in this regard. So here, I'm actually going first, but again, this, does abs this changes nothing. Um, so I'm going to basic here. He did go below that 50% life, so I do get that speed bar in a minute. And there it is for Ultimus because they gained taunt. So now I have that speed bar. And then I'm going to special here to hit that Gladiator. Gladiator's going to go pretty low. And then Ultimus gets that offense up, ult into all those positive effects. And he is a goner. Then we use the ultimate here. Uh, and again, I can't target that Thanos because Silver Surfer has that taunt. So it's an interesting concept. Um, but you'll notice it really doesn't change much. So, but Silver Surfer does resist a lot of things. You see he resisted that uh, exposed, so I have no way of getting energy now. Um, so it makes this matchup take a little bit longer, but it doesn't really change the core mechanics of the fight. Um, you see the only person to have taunt there is, Than is Ultimus, and Ultimus already did what he needs to do, so he's gonna get stunned, and then he's actually almost gonna die. I usually have him die actually to that. So he didn't die there, so they didn't get turn meter, which is really good, so that's actually better, but He'll probably end up dying to that. Um, my Ultimus is a G18 level 100. Uh, I am going to get the special here to get uh, the ability block cleared on my Mephisto. So then my Mephisto can do whatever he wants. I'm going to do the ult here to clear all that safeguard, death proof, all that stuff. Awesome. Uh, and then we're just going to go all in on Mephisto here before he gets to take his turns to do his bad, bad things. Um, you see there Thanos is going, which is fine. And then we're going to hit the ultimate here. And this does put ability block on mythic characters as well. Targeting that Mephisto. And he's a goner. So pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. You see that Thanos did get pushed. But my team is relatively healthy. So it honestly doesn't matter at all. Uh, and then we're just going to work on Thanos here. Or on Ultimus here. 
and uh, he will be dead. So yeah, this is arena for you right now. This is how the speed mechanic works. So there is some RNG coin flips in the beginning, but you'll see even if you don't win the coin flips, you can still win. It just changes the fight up a little bit, um, but it's nothing too, too crazy and nothing that you can't manage. Um, there are some times where you just won't win because their team is a lot bigger than yours. Uh, my team is pretty big, so Mephisto obviously fully maxed. Ultimus G18, 3 Diamond. Apoc 3 Diamond G19. Thanos 66 G19. And then Gladiator 66 G19 as well. So uh, results may vary just a smidge bit depending on size, but you'll see here I'm winning almost all of these fights, like every single fight, extremely handedly. So it shouldn't matter too much on size or how much you're punching up unless you're going against your Resident Kraken. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, but until next time, this has been Duelum. Later, MSFers.